I'm Andrew Budd, founder and CEO of iProve. We provide a SaaS service to authenticate remote users online more safely and securely than has ever been possible before. About 10 years ago, I was the executive chairman of the world's largest processor of mobile payments. Things were going really well, and then we, our industry suffered a cyber attack on our authentication system. As the industry leader, I was the one asked on television, Mr. Budd, the role of you and your company, were you complicit or just recklessly incompetent? <laughs> that taught me why enterprises need good authentication. So what is good authentication? Good authentication is usable, usable by people aged 9 to 90, able or not, on any of their devices. People misuse things that aren't usable. Over half of the UK's adult population has just one password for everything they do. And good authentication is, is secure. Not just secure against hackers having some fun, but against buildings of PhDs driven by compelling criminal business models. And there are no good solutions today. And that's why we founded iProve. That's why we chose to use face verification. I look at my device, my device looks at me, it couldn't be simpler. You can do it on any device which has a front-facing camera, which means everything we possess, and it works. But authentication with faces also, also holds some terrible dangers. Look, you don't need to steal my face, just go and get it from Facebook or LinkedIn. And it's increasingly easy to make copies, good copies, photographic copies, animated virtual reality copies that smile and blink, as some academics did recently and broke every face verification system they tested every time. Or you can record me in front of my device and play me back whenever you need me. Or you can corrupt the authentication API to turn lies into truth and bypass whatever smart hardware or software there is on your device. These are the real challenges which have to be solved in order to make face verification good authentication. That's what we've done with iProve. We've done it using, an, using a proprietary patented technology we call Flashmark One-Time Biometrics. From our servers, we send, at the time of authentication, a unique code to the device. That causes the device to flash a sequence of colors onto the screen, illuminating the face of the user. And while their face is being illuminated, we stream video of their face back to our servers. In our servers, we look at the interaction between the screen illumination and their face. That tells us if they're real. And we look at the sequence of colors reflected from their face. If it's the right sequence, if it's a sequence that, we, that was sent in the code, then we know they are there now. But if it's the wrong sequence or missing, then we're looking at a recording. These methods, uh, these methods work and work outstandingly well. We've patented them, and they're in production. Let's have a look at what a use case, a, a typical use case looks like. So, okay. We jumped over that. <laughs> Come and see it in our booth. Look at it online at waterloobank.co.uk. Download the app from the App Store, from the, from the Google Play, or from the App Store, and try it for yourself. You'll see how easy it is. Try and break it. You won't. Others haven't. This is a very crowded market. Scores of companies are competing to gain a share of a market that will be worth $10 billion, growing at 20% per annum for good authentication. But out of that crowd, iProve stands uniquely for four principal reasons. Because we don't rely upon device hardware or on secure execution, we can run on any personal computer, iOS, or Android device with a front-facing camera, and users can move between their different devices. We're usable. In recent tests by a customer, 100% of their test subjects could authenticate with iProve first time with no instruction. I've talked about Flashmark security, but it's also sustainable, resilient security. We live in a never-changing threat environment, and because we do everything on our servers, we see every attack. We analyze every attack, and we can respond to every attack. So when we are breached, and every system is always breached, we can fix it 
so that it doesn't become systemic, and we are, in that, in that respect, unique. It's taken a while, but we have tremendous commercial traction now. We've recently been informed of our adoption by a bank with over two million mobile customers. We are the only biometric that was selected by the UK Tax Authority, Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs, for login to self-assessment tax, uh, self tax service because of our accessibility, our usability, and our cross-platform capability. The BBC adopted us after trials to authenticate people who issued security passes. And most recently, we've had a tremendous response to a new application developed together with our Dutch partner, Innovalor, to, to, uh, for remote KYC for Norwegian bank DNB. In this, iProve authenticates people to their own passports. Remote onboarding from the comfort of your own living room. Let me tell you a word about the iProve team, which is now uh, 14 people in London. In 2000, I founded a company called Mblox, which in the following eight years grew to be the world's largest provider of enterprise-to-consumer SMS. We had revenues of over $100 million. We had th over 300 staff worldwide. We were processing billions of transactions a year and delivering super high reliability services to 192 countries. Some of the iProve leadership made that journey with me in Mblox. Our CTO, Dominic Forrest, and our commercial director, Matthew Perch, who is here today, proved their skills in that high-performance, high-growth environment. The world-class technology skills upon which we have built iProve have come from the world-class computer science faculty at University College London. Our research, like our research director, Dr. Andrew Newell, like our technical director, Joseph Palmer, and like our chief scientific advisor, Dr. Angela Sasser, Professor Angela Sasser. On our board, we have world-class banking experience and one of the former heads of, the, one, of the four, of one of the UK's security services. A growing number of organizations have examined us and our product and have, and have recognized or certified us. We're very proud of our security certification under ISO 27001, and we're also very proud of the top awards given to us by organizations like Sony, KPMG, and, and the National Cyber Security Agency, which is the, defense, the, the cyber defense organization in the United Kingdom. We have four granted patents showing that our technology is genuinely unique. Microsoft have adopted us into their accelerator program, preferentially introducing us to their 28,000 reseller channel. And the UK regulator, the FCA, have supported us tremendously in establishing the compliance of our solutions. We've accomplished all this with one and three quarter million pounds of investment, of which one million were string-free grants from the UK's innovation agency, Innovate UK. We raised our first round of 750,000 pounds two years ago in March 2015, and now to, ex to support the explosive growth which is beginning on the back of our commercial traction, we're raising a round of three million pounds which will fully fund our business model. We will invest in sales, in marketing, and in channel provisioning technology. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks to the scale of the problem that we are solving, thanks to the size of the market that that produces, thanks to the unique capabilities of our Flashmark one-time biometric technology, thanks to the usability and security of the product that we have, and thanks to the focus with which we do everything that we do, we firmly believe that within five years, I prove it's going to be worth over one billion pounds. If you're a customer, if you're a partner, or if you're an investor, Come and join us for that journey. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah.